So when you become mindful, instead of forcing things to go out from your head, that's when you improve. That's when your meditation practice go to the next level. Hey, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. Without wasting any moment, let's dive into the video. That's awesome that you decided that you want to start meditation. Now you probably have a lot of questions that where should I start? What kind of meditation should I do? My answer to those questions are it's totally up to you. What you are looking to get out of your practice. There is guided visualization meditation, manifestation meditation, transcendental meditation. There are different kind of meditation styles. So now I want you to learn the basics, not just to have a nice experience, but if you really want to learn the art of meditation, you should start with the basics. So if you are a beginner or even you have some practice, I'm so happy that you found this video because in this video, I will share a few tools, few tips that will help you to improve your practice or start as a beginner. Especially in this video, I'm sharing step by step how to meditate and how to improve your focus, improve your concentration and to be more present in the moment. Now you're probably thinking, why do I need to listen to you? Well, I've been practicing meditation for more than five years and I've been teaching meditation on platforms like Insight Timer and there are other platforms that I'm already currently working with that I'm not supposed to say the name. But anyways, I have been practicing meditation. I know the frustration, the anger sometimes that we can have when we are not able to calm our mind or in other words, what we think is that to clear our mind. So I'm going to be talking about each and everything that you need in the beginning. So first thing that you need to do is to find a comfortable and a quiet place. And if you have kids or you live with your family, I understand it can be hard to find that kind of peace in your house. I would suggest using some kind of noise cancellation headphones. That would be a great choice. When you sit in your most comfortable position, either it's Padmasana or simple cross-legged, try not to move during your practice. The reason is, for example, you are sitting and you're starting your practice and now you need to adjust yourself and you are adjusting yourself and then you're going back into your practice and then again you feel like oh there's a pain in my leg you know my back is not straight i'm gonna adjust myself again and then you're gonna do the same thing again and again so in this way you're playing this game and your meditation time is over so try not to move it's understandable if you have itch or you know you want to adjust yourself for once or twice that's totally all right because this is something that you're going to face in the beginning and it's totally okay if you want to do it once or twice but try not to repeat the same thing again and again because in this way you won't be able to cultivate more concentration and more mindfulness now your body is still let's focus on the mind now to settle down the mud in your head, you need to first bring your awareness in the present because you'll find yourself maybe stuck in the future planning or maybe you are thinking about a past memory. So the easiest way to bring your awareness to the present is by taking two to three deep breaths. Keep in mind when you're breathing in, you're breathing in from your diaphragm and on your inhale, your belly is coming out. And when you're exhaling, your belly is going in. When we are in stress, we are anxious, we tend to breathe from our chest. So when you start your practice, I want you to become aware of it if you're breathing from your belly or you are breathing from your chest. Now understand this, your mind will always need something to focus on. So in this case, we are going to use the world's most affordable and relatable object, and that is your breath. You can keep your awareness on your nostrils, on your upper lip, or on your belly. I would suggest you try different ways and see what works best for you. Now the challenging part begins. Most of the people get frustrated. They just want to quit because they feel like, oh, they can't do meditation or they don't know how to do it. But this is something that you need to be very mindful of. Slowly and gradually, when you are practicing, maybe five minutes in, 10 minutes in, you'll feel that maybe you are becoming more relaxed, you are more aware, your body is calm, you are feeling kind of at ease. But now, your mind will try to grab your attention and it'll try to put it on different objects because that's the... 
That's how mind works because mind wants you to focus on different things and always wants you to be in that survival mode. So try this technique. When you are inhaling and exhaling, there is a little subtle pause. So for example, when you finish your inhale and before you start your exhale, there is a little pause. Try to become aware of that pause. And the same way when you exhale, when you finish your exhale and you start your inhale, there is a subtle gap there as well. Try to become mindful of these two gaps because that will help you to become more present and also keep your awareness on that object, on your breath. There are also different other techniques that you can use. For example, counting, a lot of people do that. So you can inhale and exhale and then you can count that as one. So one breathing cycle. You can do that for, I don't know, maybe on a count of five or 10 and you can repeat the cycle again and again until you feel that now you are back in the present. And you will feel even after trying these techniques, all these tips, your mind is still wandering, you know, you are not able to really bring your focus in the present. I don't want you to control anything. I don't want you to like really force your thoughts to go away because that's not the way. I want you to become more mindful what you are thinking without getting lost in that story. So when you become mindful, instead of forcing things to go out from your head, that's when you improve. That's when your meditation practice go to the next level. And if you're a beginner, I would say don't sit for more than 20 minutes, but also try to sit for at least five to 10 minutes in the beginning. But if you already have a practice and you can sit for more than 20 minutes, feel free to do that. But yeah, at least try five to 10 minutes, but not, than, not more than 20 minutes. If you suffer from insomnia, I'm gonna share a link for a meditation that will help you to fall asleep quickly and also to reduce your stress. Make sure to save that video in your playlist. If you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, I would put the links in the description of this video. It's time for a bonus tip. If you feel that it's really hard to focus and bring your awareness in the moment or in the present, try my triangle awareness technique. So in this technique, what you do, you bring your awareness on all the sounds that you can hear in your surroundings or in your room. Just become mindful of all the sounds for 60 seconds and after that, bring your awareness on your body for 60 seconds and see and notice and become mindful of your body. And then after that, bring your awareness back on your breath. And that's gonna be also for 60 seconds, but then you can keep on doing this practice if you feel that you're feeling more calm, more relaxed. Please let me know what else do you want me to cover in the next video. And if you found this video helpful, kindly support my channel, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Help me help you and together we help the world. If you want to learn more about stress, anxiety and mindfulness, I have a course on Skillshare. It's totally free. I will put the links in the description so you can sign up using the link and you will have a free trial. It's for 14 days or sometimes for one month. So you can go through the course in 14 days and after that you can opt out or stay in if you really enjoy Skillshare. So at the end, you have nothing to lose. All right, that's a wrap. I will see you in my next video by then sending you so much love, light and healing.